The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The Kunad Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunad Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... <sighs> I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. <sighs> How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right, we should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, 
We saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagero, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep? Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth. And then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth. So those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The Red Strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous, I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that, although it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. 
If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too, and then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. <sighs> but I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance. No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the Gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded. 
But it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea, and that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So... I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. <laughs> you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. You guys... I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So... Thank you. Humans came from the moon, and the Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though. So, so we can keep moving forward. Yuito, this is perfect. 
Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please, don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word, no matter what. Do you ever get tired of being a member of the OSF? Um... The reality is different from my ideal, but there's a lot I couldn't do if I wasn't here. That's true. You did choose to join us of your own will. I respect you for seeing the realities of the OSF and remaining unswayed. I'd like to talk with you some more. I hope you feel the same way. Of course. You know a lot of stuff, so it's fun talking to you.
I should get ready and make dinner. What should I cook? That scream. Was that Hanabi? What is it? Are you okay? I'm okay, but I messed up. Huh? Is everyone all right? It's too dark to see anything. Yes, no one's hurt. But the wall is burnt and the machine is broken. Something malfunctioned? There was a breaker around here somewhere. I see. That's why the lights are out. I'm glad everyone is all right. Hanabi? What happened? I'm sorry. It was me. The thing appeared out of nowhere and scared me. That thing? I saw a black shadow scrambling up the wall. And then this bug came flying at my face and I panicked. At your face? I don't think you needed to freak out so much, but let's see if we can fix it. I'll take a look. Hanabi, can you give me some light with your flames? Oh, yeah. Looking at the hideout blueprint... Okay, this is here, which means... Hmm... Hmm... The line from the main power supply is burnt clean through. The mainframe won't work at all like this. So, what does that mean? It means almost all the machines in the hideout are shut down. The front door locked electronically, so the only way to get outside is to teleport. On top of that, we need to replace the part. I'll put in an order, but we won't have power tonight. Thank you for handling this situation so quickly, Wataru. Please call me when you want to go outside. I'll collect candles and things to light up the place. If that's not enough, I'll use my flames. All right, then I'll get dinner ready. Let's work together to get through the night. It is kind of depressing to see everything in the refrigerator start to go bad, though. I'll use the most perishable things first. The vent fan isn't working either, so I shouldn't use gas. How's it going, Yuito? Can I help you with anything? Thanks, Anabi. I'm fine. I might ask you for some flame to cook with later. Okay. It's only for one night, but it's still a lot to worry about, huh? Yeah. It really shows you how much we rely on modern conveniences. I'm back. Here you are, Yuito. I bought the water you requested. Thanks, Luca. I thought tap water would be fine, but the filtration system is down. Was it heavy? It was nothing. Now, I will fulfill Sugumi's request next. I'll go see Gemma and Sugumi too. They said they were going to try and fix the power supply. Oh. I'll go too. I've basically decided tonight's menu, and I'm curious to see what everyone else is doing. Really? Let's go together then. There should be a blue wire around here somewhere. Can you see it, Sugumi? The blue wire is... more to the right. Below your right ring finger. This one? Uh, I can't get it. Wait. I'll light it up. There. Thanks. Okay. Now it's connected. Can you fix the power supply? Wataru said a part needed to be replaced. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see if we can fix it with something here. But it might be hard for an amateur. You look like you know what you're doing, though. I had a lot of missions using electronics. But I don't know much about fixing them. Wait. Something's wrong. A spark. Gemma, get back! Hmm? Are you two okay? Yeah, we're fine. Gemma protected me. Thank you. I should thank you. Your warning saved us. It looks like I did something wrong. I guess it's dangerous to do it with nothing but superficial knowledge. Let's take a break. All right. Oh, Yuito. Watch your feet. You're about to step on Hanabi's toes. Huh? Oh, sorry, Hanabi. That's okay. It sure is hard being in the dark. I didn't realize you were standing so close. Hanabi, 
Your face is red. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure are calm in this situation, Sugumi. I can see normally. Let me know if you need my eyes. I will. Now, I need to get to work. I'll go see Wataru next. I guess she feels responsible for all this. Just let her be until she calms down. I guess we should head back too. Lead the way, Sugumi. Delicious! Yuito, that was a great meal for just throwing something together. I kind of went all out. Your flame control really helped. Yes, it was perfectly cooked. It also had a great nutritional... <sighs> Are you okay, Luca? It's getting a little cold. The heater is off, after all. You want a blanket? This is a job for me. A small flame with a high temperature. How's that? Thanks, Sanabi. That's warm. Yeah. It's different than a heater. It's sort of... relaxing. <laughs> it is sort of strange. Just like a campfire. You're right. It was an accident, but it feels like a nice vacation. Thanks, guys, for trying to make me feel better. This is what teammates are for. In hindsight, it was training for how we handle unexpected situations. It really was unexpected. I think it's a fault in the design for the entire hideout to run off one power supply. Yeah, you're right. This is an evacuation shelter. It should be better equipped for emergency situations. If there was an independent backup power supply, it would have been no problem. But I couldn't find anything like that. Wait... What does a backup power supply look like? I guess it would look like that power supply. It would probably have a lot of switches, too. I found one! Beneath the floor panel near the front door. I don't understand the makeup, but there are wires coming out of it. Let's take a look. Oh! It seems our current problem is solved. Now we wait for proper repairs. I can't believe it was something so easy. I completely overlooked this. We were all upset over nothing. It was kind of fun, though. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I feel like we all got closer. We are always fighting, so we've never had a chance to come together to fix a problem peacefully like this. We should all go camping once things calm down. Hanabi can make a fire and everything. That sounds good. I'd love to go. You can leave the barbecue to me. I suppose we should look for a good hiking course now, then. No climbing steep mountain passes, okay? I'm more of an indoor type. Perhaps you could use this opportunity to train yourself. I'll direct you. We can start right away. No, I'm fine. Oh, right, Gemma. We should take a look at the hideout's wiring. It's bothering me. <laughs> All right. It's been piquing my interest, too. I wonder what happened to that... bug I saw. If you didn't burn it up, it's probably hiding somewhere in the hideout. Stop it, Yuito! It's okay. I found it and took care of it. The bug has been exterminated. Thanks, Sugumi. I'll come to you if I find another one. Leave it to me. It surprised me when it got dark all of a sudden. But I feel like it's even brighter in the hideout now. Okay, I'll clean up the dishes. I want to talk to Luca for a change. Sure.
Thanks. Thanks. Yubito, do you have a moment? Yeah, what is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow, I think. You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hiano Mountain. What? You're going to Hiano Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. You're kind of... <sighs> no, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah, to Hiano Mountain. It's always so cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then.
If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. It's down! Give it everything you've got! That one explodes. Don't get too close.
Like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out! Here it comes! Get ready to fight! Understood. Maybe Sukuni's clairvoyance. Do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But... The environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers, are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen, so? What do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey. How come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um... It's a rare flower, so I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity, then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, 
it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long-distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no, it's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. Um, sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Yeah, sure. Did I do something? I mean, you're pretty observant. Well, you always take care of me and the others, right? You should take care of yourself, too. I'm worried you might try out. I know how you feel. I hope you know how I feel, too. Great! Don't worry, I know how you feel even if you don't say much. Okay. 